Hi you all and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am making for you guys a shrimp and sausage frittata. Uh, so first, thank you guys for joining me and this is a breakfast idea where I felt like putting my southern twist exactly. to an Italian um, recipe, which is a frittata, which is basically like an egg omelet with added meats and vegetables and cheese. Um, but it's more so fried instead of like scrambled. Uh, it's very easy, very versatile, and I will be showing you guys how I made this easy, but kind of more so an upgraded breakfast idea. This is perfect for just a normal everyday breakfast or a special occasion breakfast or breakfast in bed for your significant other or her guest over. All right, so let's get into it. I start with a red onion, so half of the onion that I sliced, as you saw there, and now I'm going to be using this Cajun sausage. I am using a sausage and shrimp. This is more like a, a sausage and shrimp is a very common combination in Cajun cooking uh, and Southern cooking. And so I thought these are two perfect meats to go into an omelet that you normally don't see all the time, but it's very good and complimenting of each other. Anyway. So I'm just slicing um, a sausage here. I have some shrimp set aside as well for this recipe already. And with the frittata, we're needing a good amount of eggs. So I ended up doing six total um, where I, I whisk the eggs with salt and pepper and i always add a splash of heavy cream uh, you can use milk you can use water i like cream it makes the eggs a little bit more creamier for me and, and i love that texture of eggs versus a milk based or a water base uh, when scrambling eggs um, so then i am going to place this on the side i'm just getting everything prepared uh, for this frittata because once it starts going it's pretty much very quick and you have to be ready with all of your ingredients all right so then i get my skillet hot add in a drizzle of olive oil and we're going to start cooking in layers so the first layer here is to get our meat cooked so i add in my shrimp and my sausage into the skillet and allow that to start cooking. I season that with some salt and pepper. And I use my favorite roast to garlic herb seasoning from McCormick Grill Mates Edition. It's one of my favorite seasoning, seasonings to use, along with some onion powder. I put onion powder on everything. I think it's one of those seasonings that uh, just, just goes well. Onion flavor is, is just that hidden secret that's really just so good and i use it on pretty much everything all right so then we're going to cook our vegetables in layers so the, t the tomatoes and spinach we're going to leave off to the end and right now we're just going to add in our onion and our mushroom so that gets to uh, cooking because that takes much longer to cook than our spinach and our tomato all right so we're adding the uh, onion mushrooms to the sausage and shrimp and we're sauteing that so that becomes cooked this only takes a few minutes and to get the cooking process going a little bit faster i add in a little bit of water some people add in oil don't add in oil to continue the cooking process when you see the skillet dry add in water it creates steam and moisture and it cooks off um, without adding additional oil into your skillet. So the secret is always keep a cup of water next to your cooking um, to get that added in as needed. Once the mushrooms and the onions are start to cook and you see them um, translucent for the onions and the softened mushrooms, then I add it in the spinach to wilt. This takes literally probably a minute. Spinach cooks really fast. And just sauteing that and mixing that up well and we want to make sure our ingredients are thoroughly spread throughout the pot because once we add in our eggs here, we are no longer going to uh, be mixing the pot. So we are wanting the eggs to sit and form like a, a cake, sort of. <laughs> um, so I'm just very shifting around the ingredients a little bit to just evenly spread things around. 
um, but again we're not mixing or scrambling here we're just setting that egg in and we're going to bake this off in the oven but before we bake this off we're going to add in your choice of cheese in my situation here i added a sharp cheddar and i then add in some tomatoes right on top and then in an oven preheated to 350 i take this pan and we're going to bake this for about 10 minutes and so this is what it looks like coming out of the oven nice beautiful frittata i just then garnish it with some microgreens you can use parsley whichever you'd like and that's it and serve hope you guys like this video and as always thank you for watching